trucker prostitutes. They're called lot lizards. What? <laughs> See, that's cool. Because that's they walk around cool lots. Of the job. Yeah. Like, and they oh go. my. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Welcome, Ryan. Hey, thanks for having me. This feels already feels like an interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy to be here? Happy to be here. Honored and privileged, to nice. be honest. How did you get here today? Oh, I took a nice lime scooter. Oh, nice. Mm. Luckily, we're merely a mile from, from my apartment. Probably less than a mile. Zipped on down with my new slick haircut. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, aerodynamic. Mm. You go twice as fast. <laughs> Is like uh, distance to your place like uh, a, a factor on, on whether or not you agree to do something? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah so much especially now i just sold my car a couple months ago mm. which yeah. has it's a blessing and a curse i'm saving a lot of money which is great and there's also a bunch of stuff that i like don't have to do that i like don't want to do insurance a lot of insurance and just like comedy shows and stuff that are just like oh, yeah. far away that i don't like <gasps> so doing that's anyway your new excuse and i can saying, be like hey, i don't I have, have a car. car i can't walk to flappers and burbank yeah sorry yeah. I can only go to places I can walk now. You got a show with the Seventh Veil <laughs> yeah. that I can hop on? <laughs> or it's like, dude. You should oh, yeah. start a show with the yeah, Seventh Veil. I should start a show with the Seventh Veil. stand up at Seventh Veil. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> they know me at this point. I've yeah. been like 10 times. Yeah. I've been to, I've been to like uh, a show. A friend of mine had a show at Cheetah's yeah. like wow. years ago. I'm and scared at Cheetah's. It was like, I don't like We knew that it was like at like, at like, uh, it's not really like a full nude strip club. I feel like they just kind of dance in their own. If underwear they serve there, liquor, right? they, it can't be fully nude. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, which we is were like, oh, okay, this is like kind of like a fun venue. Yeah. We didn't realize that like girls would be dancing while <laughs> she was performing. Like, what do you like mean? she's like a musician. Like she had, had her band and she was uh, going to be like. She's naked while she was No, performing. she was like performing <laughs> with her band on stage at Cheetah's. So we were like, oh, that's like a fun venue. Like we're going to go yeah. to like her, uh -oh. her like rock show at Cheetah's. Oh, and and then there was girls just, dancing. Like, no, we're still open. Yeah. And we were like. Was it like oh. folk songs? No, it was like a like rock music. Uh -oh. And we oh, were that's like. Cool. So they were dancing during yeah, the music. But it was, we, we didn't know and she didn't tell us. So none of us had mm. any money to like oh. give the girl. And we felt bad. And yeah. like, uh, so then we didn't want to sit close to the stage. So then there was just like the stage with a bunch of empty chairs and all of us were just kind of hugging the walls. Uh, yeah. And we were like, they oh, no. hate. <laughs> I feel like strippers probably know right away when people walk in like, oh, these people don't have cash. They've yeah. never been to a strip club. Yeah. This actually is a really good segue. Yeah. To talk about bachelor parties. Bachelor parties. Oh, right. yeah. And well, first, let's hear your relationship to canceling plans. Oh, and be I try. honest with us. You know, I try not to. I yeah. try not to just because I got that Catholic guilt, which I'm surprised you don't. <laughs> I do. I was also raised Catholic, and really? I don't, and I yeah, very rarely guilt. have it. No, I do get, I do get that occasionally, but my like desire to sleep is yeah. so outweighs like most things in my life. Yeah, like most mm. things in my life. Yeah, I have been doing it more. I canceled the plan today, like just a, an hour ago, because, for uh, for something this? tomorrow. No, just for it was for tomorrow, and I just like. I just really don't want to do it. Yeah. I just really don't want to do it. And I lied. And I'm not going to say what it is Name or them. who it is in case, just in case they watch this. Name them. Because I will share. I will repost. <laughs> and they are a friend of mine. <laughs> but I just really don't want to do it. And it's yeah. just like. But they don't. we don't know what day this is. This, yeah, could, when this comes out. We could release this in September. Great. We're going to make sure we get this ready for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? He told me. I'm not going to say what I told the person. <laughs> But uh, it's just going to be really hot tomorrow, you yeah. know, and it's kind of far he away. Is. Another thing, it's like yeah. I would have yeah. to Uber there and then just do this thing for free oh. and then Uber back home. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. And so I was just like, but I said I would do it. And then today I'm just like, I really don't want to do it. So I have a thing on in two days and I just lied and said it was tomorrow. Nice. That's what that's that's the best way to lie. Because it's a real thing. So you you have the story. If you ever see them yes. again, you can go, here's how it went. Here's what happened. I did. Mm. Yeah. And you don't have to make up a whole thing. Like it's a real event. It's a real thing. That you can source from. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite way to yeah. lie. Do you ever have trouble like keeping track? Of, like, do you have to utilize real Oh God, no, no, I don't. So I use plenty of not real things. Sorry, I'm kicking your mic. That's fine. I use all sorts. I said I had COVID once. <laughs> yeah, no comedy show. Yeah. COVID's, yeah. COVID's cool. easy peasy hasn't. now. I don't think people can use COVID the way they used to. Oh, oh yeah. shit, I do it all the time. Really? Yeah. I think it's easier now because it's not as serious. You say it back then, people are like checking on you and like, can I send you medicine? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. I feel like people like now, like, yeah, everyone's getting the new like variant, but like no one's afraid of it the way. So even if you're like, yeah, I have COVID, well, you know, just take come a couple back. days and then come back. That's fine. Is yeah. there a new variant? 
Yeah, it's I called, haven't heard about the I new variant. It, mm. I, I don't know if I'm is being, that the one like, Biden tricked. got? Yeah, I don't know if I'm being tricked online, but apparently it's the flirt variant. The, the flirt, flirt variant. The flirt variant. I hope that's real. And it's just like a sore throat. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so a is, sore it, throat. is it a COVID variant or is it just a sore? Is just a sore throat thing going? It's on? like a COVID sore throat, okay. dude. I wonder if I had I had a sore throat like last week for oh. a few I know, days. and a, apparently so a few of our friends actually have a sore throat. Oh well, we were all deep throating <laughs> liquor bottles at. <laughs> oh, no, we were we were deep throating the same liquor bottle. Giving it. Huh. Hmm. No, please don't give any more context. <laughs> no, no more yeah. context. No more context. It was but a contest. Yeah, I feel like you. Oh, okay. You show up. I try You're to like show up. You're like the friend that's like, like Kyle's birthday is a weird time. It's December 27th, right? 29th. 29th. Oh, I'm a 29th baby. Whoa, really? July. I think people should <laughs> bond over that more than their signs. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's yeah, one yeah. in 30 Numerology. one chance. Wow. Uh -huh. That is a good point. But yeah, like Ryan will like show up to those odd birthdays because he's like, no one, like I want to be there and like make yeah. this person celebrate. Like mm -hmm. you love birthdays. Well, I, I love like. to party. And you also love to party. <laughs> you know, and it happens, seems to happen less and less these days. I keep saying that, but we just keep on partying. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say. <laughs> but if someone's like, yeah, we're all gonna get together, we're all gonna get drunk together. I'm like, yeah, I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. Pretty much so all the time. that's the only reason why you show up to things? Yeah, I don't care about the people. <laughs> so you don't care all. about like their feelings? No, okay. no, no. Okay, but then okay. I'll give a little gift and be like, well, Ryan's such a good friend, but really I just want to get hammered. Oh, yeah. you should show up with something that you want to drink that <laughs> Yeah, <night. laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I try not to cancel plans, but yeah, I'll use like, I've used a COVID. I'll use, I was just showing you my nasty tattoos. Yeah, that's a legit excuse. That's though. a legit excuse. That first, I'm getting my tattoos removed. Kyle. Okay. They are, uh, and they get disgusting after like, I have ooh. a session. Talk about funk. Do you want to see a gross picture? I can yeah, show you, the, do you always. want to see it? Yeah, yeah. Always. Never Talk seen about picture. Picture. funk, like oozing out of Oh yeah. Oh, you got some. So I'm bandaged up again today. I I took the bandage off too soon, and then there it was oozing through my pants on Saturday. <laughs> was it oozing through your pants in the design of the tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> it was just splotches, a Rorschach test. No, it was test. oozing through his pants, and I remember thinking, God, Ryan, like, if I were you, I would have not come. Like, not to shame, mm. like, not to say, like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> like, I to show my fucking face, but, dude. Like, I, that would have been to me. Like, I would have woken up like, wow, this is a dynamite excuse to get out of, like, the next six things I have to do. Yeah, hey, but that was going to be a good, oozing. that was going to be a great party. But I have used that excuse just for stuff I don't want to do. Yeah. Mm. Be like, I had a tattoo removal four days ago. It's still kind of uh, healing. I can't walk. I can't really walk, but I can. It's just that first night I can't yeah. walk, but then mm. after that's fine. But yeah, so I get, it's like, they just Ugh. laser it. It's basically just burn your skin. Yeah. And uh, then it bubbles up and it blisters. But this is the worst it's okay, been okay. blistered. This is my ninth session and it gets worse and worse every time. Oh shit, that is gnarly. But yeah, they were gnarly and I I, I popped them with a uh, needle. Gross. Oh. Did you clean the needle first? Yeah, with a lighter on the needle? <laughs> no. That's, you gotta do That's that. That's what you're supposed to do. That's oh, needle oh, 101. Oh, oh. No, yeah. this is a brand new needle straight out of my sewing kit. Mm. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. I'll so I love untouched that. by man, <laughs> bacteria free. By man. <laughs> Touched <laughs> only by, by like man? whatever factory worker. <laughs> yeah. Sucked on it before putting You guys are right. I should have cleaned the needle a little bit. <laughs> no wonder it's oozing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's oozing. You're using dirty needles. Yeah, yeah. It's Damn. a bunch of dirt coming out. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was oozing dirt also, and mud. I feel like <laughs> wet, wet mud. I don't want to keep calling Ryan out, but I guess this is the point of the pod. Is Ryan it? one time, like a couple years ago, you had shingles and you didn't know it and you kept coming around to different oh events. Oh my god, dude. With, my with shingles. With shingles. Because you didn't want to bail. Which is highly contagious. Uh right? I get there's something about it's not contagious if you've had chicken pox or something, right? Oh, maybe you're I think right. Like that. Yeah. So you, but I think someone had, like Lainey hadn't had chicken pox or something like that. Was, who hasn't uh, had chicken pox? Grow up. Yeah, grow up. Everyone in the 90s had chicken Get the pox. pox. Get the pox. Wow. Uh, but yeah, shingles were gnarly. But I thought Ryan it was... would show up to an event yeah. and just mm -hmm. grin and bear it. So you cause... like are not going to miss a party. Is yeah. What, is, is shingles. <laughs> Oozing tag. <laughs> okay. What, a fun party. He's not gonna miss it. A bachelor uh -huh. party, especially. Mm -hmm. Ooh wee. Yeah, what would, what would keep you, from a bachelor party? Like, would you have to have, like having your leg amputated? I suppose it would have to be I just getting my leg show amputated. Up. Fun though, dude, to be the one-legged guy at the. Oh, you the, the strippers would Do be Do you get to oh, bring the leg with you too? It would be oozing through my pants. I'm sure. <laughs> just, it around. I forgot to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty gross episode. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. So, uh, when did the uh, the aversion to like 
bailing on like a party even happen like was that yeah. in like in high school or something where you like what are we doing after like when did yeah when did this happen i guess i have pretty major fomo yeah yeah i hate that's the thing when i go out of town i do i miss my friends so much mm. and i'm always texting the boys and sometimes they respond and sometimes <laughs> yeah. they don't and i'm like but it's alone in my hotel rooms being Aww. like but what is everybody doing yeah does it make you sad to see like group photos oh yeah for yeah. sure and i just can't wait to get back I did recently reach out to a uh, a trucking company and just inquired about like tr trucking, driving trucks, like driving trucks. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan I knew you were gonna go. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> uh, let me inquire. Let me yeah. inquire. Truck see drivers if it's no, for I feel me. That. do a lot of drugs. Yeah, Apparently. see, they party. They, they used yeah. to. I don't know if that's still. Have you, ever, have you ever been to like a like a truck like a, a truck driver specific like stop? Like the really oh, yeah. big ones they're that are they're nice as hell. Yeah, they're sick. Have they have, you ever been well, they have like showers and ones. stuff. Yeah, yeah they a, got some nice showers woman, sometimes. I feel like <laughs> maybe this is so presumptuous, but like I never want to stop at like big truck stops like that because I feel like they're going to think I'm like a prostitute. Because <laughs> well, yeah, you're wearing, you're a, prostitute. Cause, cause you're wearing, wearing like, like a, a fur coat and a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> and walking around like offering. Going, so I feel like, that's, like yeah. they, that's what truckers do. They like, stop and they like. Get, stop and they get no, they're just, they get, they have Lot sex. lizards they call them. You ever heard that? <laughs> no. What are they called? I assume they were just sucking like each other's trucker, dicks. Trucker prostitutes. They're called lot lizards. What? <laughs> See, that's cool. Because that's they walk sick. around lots. That's cool the job. Yeah. And they go. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so bachelor parties. What's bachelor your relationship parties. with bachelor parties? Just got back from one time of my life. I've been to a couple. Do you think this is lame? I think I was telling this to a friend of ours. There, I'm single. I'm 30, going to be 36. There's a chance I might never get mm -hmm. married. And man, what a shame if I never have a bachelor party. Aww. I deserve a bachelor mm. party, dude. You could throw so what one. If I just, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, you're just a bachelor. Yeah. I could do it right now. What age, <laughs> then, what age are you going to call it off? Call it off? The search for a wife. Like, are you talking 55? <laughs> like you're looking for a body? <laughs> <laughs> she's got to be out there somewhere. Time, like, when are you going to call time, yeah, all right, time she's not of death? Around. Time of death? Uh, 37. <laughs> it's over. I'm gonna give it one more year. Like men, I feel like dudes I can get married and like mm -hmm. really go hard at any age. I guess. Like I, I don't think women like if I got married at fifty two. No, yeah. like none of the girls be like, let's go crazy. <laughs> or maybe they would actually. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, what I'm worried about Like, but like forty would be terrible. Like getting married because everyone's gonna have kids. So if I get married in my forties, no one's gonna want to party. But I think fifties could be like all the moms. People like, like bring it back. Moms night out. Yeah, this is what I worry about. If I get married at 50, who's going to want to really rage? People barely want to rage now. Mm. I know. I know. Yeah. Recently, parties have been like way more kids are at, our, at the parties. A lot of kids. I guess we're growing up. Yeah, I guess we're growing up. In terms of like bachelor parties, uh, the what you said you've been going to them for quite I've a few. Like to, how many, yeah, how many do you think you've been to? I think to? I've been to like maybe four, okay. three or four. One in Vegas, one in Big Bear. That was Ahmed's bachelor party. Oh, that's Big a fun Bear's one. That's like two very different vibes. Mm -hmm. Vegas, rager. We said in high school, like, first person to get married, my boys were like, we're going to Vegas. Whoa. So you're saying you'd never bail on a bachelor party? I don't, I, it, would, it would take a lot. Mm -hmm. I love a bachelor party. Yeah. Boys, <laughs> partying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just got back from a Mexico City one. Yeah, Mexico City. Yeah. Did rager. you guys do any, what, what stood out about that trip? Oh, a couple things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a couple incidents. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows what I can even talk about? Yeah. I got shaken down by the police. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a big one. Mm -hmm. They took a lot of money from me, the police. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone got sick. Everyone got sick. Do you think they all got COVID? Every uh, one or of no, our e. friends. E. Coli. E. Coli. e. coli, yeah. That's a oh. common thing that happens in Mexico. I suppose. Right? The water, right? Isn't it? It's like we're not water. used to the water. So. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been. The water is, a, yeah, it's an E. coli thing is what they have in their water. It's yeah. a strain of E. coli. That we're and not one used of to. one of the guys on the trip, we came back and we we're doing the group chat. And uh he goes, I got E. coli. And everyone's like, Oh no. And then a couple of days later, I started waking up. This is uh, I just keep being so gross. <laughs> no, 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 this is good. This is good. <laughs> but I just like literally I couldn't even like open my eyes. They were so just like sealed Ew. shut with uh debris. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> the laundry list of things that you just listed are all things that like would probably 
excuse you out of things. Keep me, excuse me, like Same. keep, me, keep from me from things. I, but also like I do identify with being like, but it's the boys and it's I got to go. And like, it's just, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I have this, uh, I've had two bachelor parties that I've had to miss out on in the last few years that like, in, in the moment I was like, I'm the only one that's kind of far away. And I was like, mm-hmm. ah, I really feel obligated. I wanna, to... Like, I, I don't want to, I couldn't spend the money at the time or just was coming out of weird. Yeah. And I was like, I'll just be at the wedding and we'll rage at the wedding. It'll be fine. Yeah. But then after the fact, you see the pictures, you see the photos, <laughs> you see the photos, yeah. you hear the stories. Yeah. You're like, someone got like this person got pissed on this person. Like, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Got pissed on. <laughs> someone, got pissed on. No, pissed someone, off. someone was like being weird. And like someone's, uh, cousin, like weird cousin that no one has met was being weird in the hot tub. Yeah. And, like yeah. that's like, those are the yes, things, those I sweet, love sweet stories. The random Bond. relatives, random relatives. Yeah, the random relatives are the best. the best. That's the thing. If you are the random relative or if you just like, don't know anybody, you know, most people that well, except for the, the groom, then, I could bail on that because I'm just like stressed out. Mm. But if it's like all your boys, absolutely. Yeah, if it's your best friends. It's like if you bail on a bachelorette party, like for your best friends, you might as well never see them again. Yeah. Really? No. Yeah. You couldn't repair that. That's wild. It's ear. Yeah. You have you have a bachelorette coming up. Yeah. Would you? Taylor's. Would you bail on this bachelorette party if you like uh, if you just like. Got like a really bad haircut that was like right up here. <laughs> <laughs> like a really clown. I guess really. you could just wear a hat. What I, would if you had get, a broken I would get a wig. Leg? What if you had a broken oh, if leg? I, oh, if I had a broken leg, I could still see Taylor being like, we'll make it work. Like, come. Get a walking cast, pussy. I would get like, or, or I would like make one of the girls be like my designated buddy and push me all weekend, but then mm. that ruins their trip. Yeah. That does you know what suck. I mean? But. Again, back to the stripper thing. I do think if I showed up to like a Magic Mike show in a wheelchair, oh yeah, the guys would give me a lot of attention, and that would be really fun. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> oh yeah, that could be like they very love, fun. Uh, they love an ailment. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever? So you've been to strip clubs. Mm-hmm. Do they? Do they like take off your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> no. One of my favorite strip club quotes is our friend Nick one time. I was like, "Go to I want to go to a to Seventh Vale," and he goes, "Strip clubs, man." He's like, every time I go to a strip club, he goes, they they always take off my glasses and they rub them on what I assume is their pussy. I can't see oh, anything. No, no. <laughs> we're going to craft a scenario where we, um, we're, we're going to present you with a bachelor party that you need to get out of. Okay. And we're going to test your skills. Okay. Of, in terms of getting out of In this. terms of escaping this thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, that so, it will be it'll be difficult. So I'm it, planning it and I am a woman, but it's a okay. co isn't it gonna it's gonna be a co bachelor bachelorette. Okay. And I'm the sit right? I'm the sister. And you guys are you guys are getting married? Or no 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 no. I'm the sister of the guy getting married. And okay. I'm planning his bachelor party because okay. we're like best friends. Okay, so Mary like, we're one of those brothers Mary, and sisters that like really uh, I've close. seen those. Mary's <laughs> the the sister who's the best man. And yeah, is like planning, yeah, and is planning a trip for the boys. Okay, cool. But I, has yeah, I want to do trip. all the like fun. Yeah, I want to. I'm gonna wear a tux at the wedding, kind of. Vibe. Okay, and I don't want to go to this bachelor party. And she has, and she has planned this this weekend that is so like it's like meticulously mm-hmm. uh, scheduled. There's okay. no like she's like we're heavy we're, itinerary. Heavy itinerary. We're going to we're going to this. We're going to that. We're doing. I think what I would do is like plan like a we're gonna go like pick apples in an orchard we're gonna do like cider tasting this bachelor party is <laughs> happening in upstate new york I think. Okay. <laughs> okay? okay it's like a really calm rural town that i've chosen okay. because me and my brother we grew up near this town it's like it means a lot mm. to us but it's like you know apples rolling hills right okay. there's one bar in town and it closes at 10. okay <laughs> everyone's pitched in money so far for this, they've then mowed me for the weekend. You're the last one standing. Okay. And if you don't do it, everyone else's price. Goes yeah, up. Everyone, everyone else goes up. Price because goes we up. got okay. a nice Airbnb, but the Airbnb, the quiet hours start at mm-hmm. nine. Also, it's one of those places where it's like sleeps ten, but like six of those are like an ottoman. Cots. Mm-hmm. You know. Cots. You know, like cots. two bathrooms. <laughs> cots. <laughs> Maybe yeah, one 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 half bathroom. Okay, and one regular bathroom. And half of his friends that are coming, 
that I've invited are from his acapella group from college. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a really, it's really important. It's like a ritual when someone gets married in the acapella group that they do the songs. Okay. Like they do the one song, Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is a real, this is actually a real. We're going really deep with Sorry. this. Okay. But like they have to sing Bre Breakfast at Tiffany's. Like that's like their pump up song. Mm -hmm. and okay. They all like, boom, every morning. Boom, 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 boom. Every morning they do this. It sounds great. <laughs> so it's not, this already, I feel like it we've sounds, actually built something that Ryan would really yeah, thrive in. Sounds like a lot of no, fun. Like it's a quiet so hour started if, at 9 p.m. and there's one I know. Bar this in this town. is what I would say though. Go, that's, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna be there is what I would say at first. Okay. Sick. Mm. Uh, no question. And then I'll start thinking about, and then I'll start, and then I'll go, you know what, dude? I have oral allergy syndrome, which I don't know if you're familiar with that. Mm. It's different for different people. Oral allergy syndrome. Yes, it's All when right. your, your brain, it tricks you, and it thinks that certain uh, proteins from different fruits are something else that you're actually allergic to. If I have an apple, my throat's gonna be so itchy. <laughs> Yeah, but you can take um, allergy. I'll bring extra allergy pills for you. But they're on the rolling hills, yeah? The apples? <laughs> the apple trees? Yeah. I have bad, bad ankles. Actually, I have I have hand, foot, and mouth disease. <laughs> <laughs> and my feet are absolutely ravaged right now. I can't eat, I can barely walk. I'll bring my orthopedics. I can't do, <laughs> I can't do orthopedics. I owe uh, Dr. Scholes a lot of money. <laughs> I did a Dr. Scholl's uh, bit back in the day and they and they sued me. And so oh, if no. I ever use them or any uh, competing uh, orthopedic product, they'll come after me and my family. And I love my wow. family. All right, and, that makes, but how will you make it up to my brother? Yeah, like, my feelings will be really hurt. Really if you don't, well, what I, this what is I his one bachelor party. He's not gonna time. ever get married again. Never. I know. What I will do is I'll send you um, not the full cost of what, it, it, I would have to pay, but I'll send you like 80 bucks so that everyone, everyone's price can be dropped down just a bit. Okay. And I'll definitely That's go- pretty reasonable. And I'll go to the wedding as long as there's no uh, apples or rolling hills <laughs> or insoles. Oh. And, um, well, it's in our hometown. I'll make you a personalized uh, video. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll even write you a song. For the bachelor trip? Yeah, oh, I could do that, yeah. This is all satisfactory to me. Yeah, I'll write I feel you like, like you're going eight, above and beyond. Eight bars, and yeah. I'll do it a cappella. I'm believing what you're saying. And I'll send it to saying. the boys, and then they could, uh, I'll send it to them, and they can, you know, learn the words, and they can sing it. And I'll be like, well, I'll be joining the a cappella group. Damn. With the book. Because wow. I am sad about missing the a cappella group. That wow. sounds like the best you wanna, part. You want to hear them sing? Yeah. 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 And I love going to bed early, early, getting a good <laughs> night's sleep. And then waking up to pick apples. Yeah. But not eating them. Yeah. Right. That's a very. Th Honestly, that's such a that was a, good. That was a one of thorough, the best we've really seen. thoughtful way to. to and you never wrote. Yeah. You were really steadfast. I would never. I would never miss. I would never miss your bachelor party unless <laughs> I had just like a bunch of apples and hills. <laughs> and people that are suing me. If I, you know, what I want to do my bachelor party. If I ever do a bachelor party, is a nice little South Dakota trip. I keep saying. This. A South what's, Dakota. What's going on in South Dakota? Go to a little Deadwood, huh? Go to what's a little. Deadwood? Go to a little the Badlands. It's beautiful oh. out there. Yeah. Deadwood. It's like the show. I'm familiar. But it's like a real place oh. and it's sick. And I went there a couple of years ago and it's sick. What is it, just like mountains? It's like this old mining town nestled in the mountains. And it was gonna be a ghost town. And then they legalized gambling out there and it saved the town. So it's like a little oh, strip cool. of all like gambling and bars. Oh, that's fun. It's very Republican. Is, that's all South is Dakota. Is South Dakota mm -hmm. where um, Mount Rushmore is? Yes, and you go to Mount Rushmore. Your bachelor the most... theme could be like Mount Rushmore. Dude, a Mount all... Rushmore and your bachelor trip? your face. <laughs> oh, yeah. At the end of it, that's and that great. could be like the t-shirts, like the theme. Yeah. I bet I thought Mount Rushmore was awesome when I went. I actually I've really want to go. I've heard all bad things about it. We got to get you a bachelor party. I, I know. Wanted this party so really, hey, like... if, any, if any lucky lady is listening. Please. It doesn't have to last long. We, no, can... it could just be a, a one and done quick wedding. I can yeah, yeah, see I just you need having to have a, a really party. fun wedding in Vegas. Oh yeah, a I wedding in like Vegas. Like a wedding in Vegas, Fuck not Vegas. a bachelor trip. Vegas is a bad yeah. place. Yeah, but for a wedding? I for a it's wedding? Like for an elopement? Like, yeah, you don't the wedding's a gotta be a party. At the Little yeah. Chapel is what you're thinking? Yeah. yeah. I feel like you would, that like could work. Or that thing mm -hmm. that tips you over the, the building, you know that thing? No. You seen that? Strap you in and then they lean you over the top of this tall building. Whoa. You and like and we'll say our vows. Is that is that what it, that what they do? They like strap. Yeah, yeah. Then you're just married hanging couples? over this building. I forget what it's called. Oh, never. No, not married couple. Just people just do. Oh, that. I was like, oh. people get married that but way. I, I could. could. That's what horrible. if you drop the ring? Never. <laughs> that yeah. would suck. I, no. <laughs> 
But I like that idea. I deserve a bachelor party. You do. I agree. And think about all the money you've spent on other people's bachelor parties. Very true. That's how I feel. Yeah. Like, I want to have one just to, like, spite all my girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> spend a thousand dollars on me. Yeah. That's crazy. That's just so much That's money. so much money. It's a trip. It's, it's over a bunch that. of stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well over that sometimes. Yeah. Crazy to ask your friends to do that. Like, if I want to go to an event that's like a twenty dollar cover, I'm like, I'm, I I'm feel bad. No way, I'm asking Same. anyone to Could do that. Me. Same. Mm-hmm. I remember, like, but I do. The girlies and that I got will. married in their twenties, it was awful. Like, I had girlfriends that got married when we were twenty six. I was so broke, and like one one of my friends had a bachelorette in Key West, which is historically the hardest place in the U S. to get to. Yeah, you have to take way out like there. you have to take mm-hmm. a flight to islands. Miami. Or you could take a flight direct to Key West, but that's like $1,000. But you could get to Miami, and then we rented like a huge bus and had to drive through the Keys through all the, the way key. to that's the super key, long, Key West. Right? I mean, it was gorgeous, and it was one of the best trips of my life. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. But it was like for four days, too. And we jet skied, because that's all she wanted to do was jet ski. <laughs> but that costs, that <laughs> know, costs so, so much money, and you have to get your boating license. To jet ski? I had to take an online quiz in the hotel. That's wild. I didn't know that. You know, yeah. It's really interesting when there's like... Uh, to to combine like the uh the 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 money the money pressure and like the physical pressure and like all the things that go into just like a trip in general yeah it's a lot but then combine that with like the emotional pressure of like were you gonna be here for me or what yeah like, yeah so so you're not gonna spend two thousand yeah. dollars just say you hate me and you want my marriage to fail yeah so it's like such what? a personal thing it's it is. just so much money uh huh I had a friend that sold her like prized possession which was like a camera like a canon really nice camera to go on a bachelorette trip That's wow wild. and i remember and she had like Couldn't tears in her eyes when she was telling me and i was like what like something's wrong here like yeah how how did we get here sure was. <laughs> dude I, I mean i was pretty surprised about some of the people that came to this my friend tony's the best part i just yeah. went to i was like myself included i'm so how so broke recording mm-hmm. this some of these guys i'm like damn dude Thank yeah. you for coming to this. I know that this is is ruins excuse, a bunch of us. Like money. Yeah. But also like if there's if it's something I really want to do, I'm like I'll go this, this is not like financially sound, but I'm like, fuck it, that's what credit cards are for. Credit yeah. like, I'll do it like yeah. 100%. whatever. Especially if it's a place you've never been. Yeah. Yeah. Which is awesome. Well, uh Ryan, we have um uh, we have this last little bit that we'd like oh, to go over yeah. to you. We do have some a um some listener, listener mail oh. that, that we'd like you to weigh in on. Um as always, please continue sending in your stories yeah, keep sending um, in your stories anonymous anonymous um people send in their stories of times in which people have bailed on them and have asked okay. us to weigh and in we, yeah give us your opinion on this okay. okay so this is from a listener um who says so i started dating this girl jen around june of last <laughs> year we had a lot in common but she often wanted alone time which i always respected We went to high school together, and we'd been talking for almost a year before meeting up. We dated for six months, went on dates. I met friends, met her family, celebrated birthdays, dinners, and holidays with all the people closest to her, and really thought this might be the person for me. Then, in December, we went to a friend's house for a game night. We had a blast, but on the way home, she was silent. I texted her and asked her if anything was wrong, but she told me, we work on paper, but there's just no romantic chemistry. (laughs) When asked... When she was going to tell me that she felt this way, she replied, I was going to tell you eventually. She then proceeded to never talk to me again and start dating some <laughs> Michael Rooker looking mailman motherfucker. <laughs> and that's oh, where no. it ends. Oh, that's so sad. It's, so, it's you know what? I At first I thought this was going to be more of a cut and dry, like someone bailed on a plan thing. But it's, yeah, like she it's bailed, bailed on a, a relationship. A whole relationship. <laughs> bailed out of a relationship. Yeah, they were talking for a long time. Talking for a long what time. Happened after, what happened at game night? That's my question. Yeah, yeah. Something happened at game night. Game nights can get pretty serious. But also, I guess like the idea of like she one got the ick. She yeah, got the she ick got at game, the night. Ick at game night. Yeah, the way he hit the sorry thing yeah. <laughs> was weird. <laughs> <laughs> the wrist was too weak. <laughs> yeah, I need a man to slap that. He moaned when you he went ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. It's really interesting. Also, I think the question of like when were you planning on telling me this? I think is maybe what inspired it was like. That's also a weird question to ask when someone. Breaks up with you. Yeah. How Perhaps late? she was just uh, thinking it was just more casual than it was. Yeah. How I late is know, too happens. late to break up with somebody or like, do mm. you, if you're going to break up with someone, do you, I don't know. We've all had spur of the moment breakups, but I guess like if I'm planning on breaking up with someone, I'm not going to be like, all right, I'm going to get, let me just get to this game night first. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> I yeah, think dude. something, I swear, like, I'm, I think something happened at game night. 
I, I wonder if she was, or maybe uh, she was ruminating on it for like months. Before. Yeah, maybe she was already, you know, uh, seeing this this mailman. Guy. This is Michael Rooker, Michael this Michael Rooker looking mailman Rooker. fella. Wait, he... She moved on pretty quickly. She seems to have t- uh, turned heel like pretty abruptly and randomly. Yeah, maybe she was. Maybe she was already had eyes for another. Uh, yeah, <laughs> another mailman. This mm-hmm. is this is uh, I don't I don't know. Usually I want to be like. I feel like this is a good because we're so pro bailing that I I like yeah. to take the opportunity to then be like, oh damn, you're right. Like that 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 person's in the wrong. But also I'm like, I don't know. If someone wants <laughs> yeah. to break up with you. They can break up. Want to be something I, else. Up, yeah. Relationship bailing is hard. I think I think the better question with relationships would be like bailing on like your partner's dinner with their family or like yeah. bailing on a family vacation with your partner's family or yeah. like bailing on holidays with oh, your yeah. I think it's interesting you mentioned at the beginning too or it's just like she always she always did want her space and I was always very respectful yeah. of her, just like leading with that she never she wanted was, to kiss she, me or be around she was, me <laughs> yeah she's always keeping him at arm's length she kept, yeah, on, she kept on canceling have you months. have you ever been mad at one of us personally for canceling? Uh, canceling on a plan. Either view, either view. I was sad when you couldn't come to Yosemite, but that wasn't a cancel. That was yeah, just you had to that work. Was work. That was a big bummer. Yeah. Never really mm-hmm. mad. Yeah. I'd, I'd never be mad at you. Yeah. Unless you didn't the last minute bail for something stupid. Mm. I'm gonna try I don't to think do you that have ever done. just to see. You could. I mean, now that you have this podcast, it's great. Right. You can just be like, it's kind of our brand. We it's have to do this. It, yeah. And it's like, yeah, it's fodder for the podcast. It's fodder for the podcast. It's I great. Can come to it's a it. Genius. I also, idea. I bail a lot. Like, I'll be honest. I yeah, bail yeah. A lot. But I also feel like you are one of those one of my friends who like kind of just knows it now. Mm. You know, yeah. not to push. Yeah, You're I also like, don't have uh, no. that much stuff to do. Like, I'm always around. Everyone. Right. I think I'm the least like in our friend group who has like other stuff t- going on. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop saying yes to too much stuff though. I know. I just, I've like, started really I saying don't no. Do that. Like I've started just being like, you know, no. Yeah. Just because no. the maybe thing, like we were talking with Mono, like you saying maybe puts you in a shitty place because then you have to like backtrack. Yeah. It's so much more work. People are people. Another popular one is people go, I'll try to, I'll try to be there. Yeah. I'll, I'll try. try. As, I'll, I'll try, try as nuts. I feel like. If you I can get away with a maybe. You can get away with a maybe if you're like, hey, listen, I know this is annoying, mm-hmm. but I don't know how I'll feel on the day. Oh, yeah. So are you yes. cool with me on the day of being like, game day decision. let's go? Yeah, yeah. I do that a lot. But, and then if randomly you get a wind and you show up, you're a hero. Yeah. Yeah, that is you're true. Like, yeah. If you're a maybe. Like, I'm going to be really hung over that day. I'm just letting you know I might not be able to yeah. do it. Mm-hmm. Then if you show up, ooh boy, yeah, I use that one a lot. Mm-hmm. It's always hung over is the <laughs> is the future excuse. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh always. I feel like I'm gonna be hung over that day. <laughs> I, I bail so much that now like my girlfriends have started doing this thing where they're like, well, don't let Mary go back home. Like if we're already doing something, they're like, don't that's let, real. Because Come I'll take a nap out. and then it, once once that's happened, there's no way. Oh, I know when I was mad at you for bailing Tovlo night. <laughs> but I had a legitimate excuse. <laughs> Why? What was your excuse? We were at the beach all day. I had no clothes. I was wearing my bathing suit and a, like a sundress. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was gonna, gonna, wear, to wear, my I was gonna wear Ryan's sweatpants to a Tuplo concert, and I didn't have my ID, so I was gonna take oh, yeah, one of my ID. friends who vaguely looks like oh. me. Yeah, that was actually insane that you were gonna come in the first place. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Looking mad. I feel like we we got a lot of insight on we did. Yeah, on what'll what'll get of... you out the house, which is uh, it's not any, health issues. It's anything. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Nothing's gonna keep you from. Hey, I'll be there. Showing up for Ryan those. That's where I got my gravestone. Right. Thank you so much for doing there. this. Thanks for having me. Uh, awesome. Is there anything that you want to let the people know about? Yeah, you want to plug how, anything? How can Where they can... find you? I'm on most socials at Ryan O'Flan, and I got not much going on. He has his own podcast. Oh, I do have my own podcast. That's right. Every couple of months, I'll throw an F out. It's called Laser Show. Uh, yeah, Ryan O'Flan on Instagram and TikTok and stuff. Thanks for not bailing. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Great. <laughs> awesome. You looking into that camera? <laughs> I would never. <laughs>